something which I think I should I should discuss. See the question. Well, I like to adapt my, my presentation to the class, right? And one of the key thing I want to emphasize is the mind of customer. Okay, now this is uh, right. This is actually my lecture notes from M, from my master's course of engineers, right? Of course related to SCM, right? Okay, now most important, right? I believe that right to charge premium, it should be pulled, not pushed, right? So you find that uh, the key is really interaction to generate this pool from customers. And of course, customer only pool for goods and services if he or she is satisfied. So satisfaction is the key. All right? Then of course, very importantly, is how do you quantify satisfaction? Well, the style is different, but it's, it's just lecturing students, MBA, there's less of this colorful graphics, but key point. Customer satisfaction is on realization less expectation. Right? So the goods itself, right? There are two aspects of course, the customer and the product. Now customers are likely to be higher when they become involved in the process of designing the product. This is extremely important. A lot of time coming there and say, look, we know better, you we, we tell you. They don't sell, they tell. Oh, you don't know, you tell exactly what is good for you. Don't ask much. But designing involving the customer has a psychological ownership effect. They feel that, oh, even though you're Cisco, you're fantastic. And in China, humility is very important. You ask the Chinese. It is something which maybe in the West they say, oh, you know, so that's how you find a great expert later, I don't know about this, you know. Because their, their culture is such. But what I'm saying is, all right, do expect customer and product. But of course, you cannot give premium service to everybody. That is where I focus that, right, your core customers is very important. You must focus on the 20% of the customer that you 80% of the sales. The rest you can, right, use the normal approach. Right. Now, so I'm, right, so I'm, it's just one more minute, so I'll finish it up. Right. I will tell you that it's very important, right, that I, I don't use the uh, bottom, Water consulting good model, I use the water model. Right? Sales and my byproduct that has potential to be waterfall. Right. Avoid the long tongue. We call it a hot can, you know. Because long tongue is very water product. Right? Because this and then the stagnant pool. Not moving sales. Although high margin, but then you're in a second product. What product would be waterfall? Right? So this is where you manage to expect of it. Whole customer care. Involving customer. Where you apply a psychology, a sexy and a lot of you know, customer. They feel that you know, the car is designed by them. That's what, what Mercedes Benz does in the US. Mercedes Benz produces maybe 300 Mercedes. Two of them are identical. The rest are designed by the customer. Right? So, Right, so this, right, very important, I will test you, is can you describe to your customer to the class? Can you give an accurate portrait of a customer because that's the key to business success? How well do you really know, or you know your product only? So I want you to psychoanalyze your customers, not the 80%, the 20%. How often do you call you? What are you saying here? How hard words it is, what is the meaning? So this I believe, right? That's why I use a neutral male female, and you can't tell it's male or female. It's <laughs> uh, an American is female. Customer care. Of course this will take a three hour lecture, so I don't want to back on further. Right? But the other thing which I wanted to run quickly of course is you know I got two two discs to play with, but I think I have given you a, a philosophy of since the lecture really. So thank you for your time. <laughs>